focusing in on cybersecurity, there's a lot of, as you know, fretting in fairly high places about our vulnerabil the vulnerability of our electrical uh, grid system to cyber attacks. And the, the observation is they would be fairly easy to hack into. Do you agree with that, that it, it would be all that simple? And are we doing halfway enough to uh, build up buffers that would uh, prevent such attacks? So uh, the answer is no. I don't think it's that easy. Um, what I do believe is that there are certain states that have the capability who we know have gotten inside various networks. But what they lack are the incentives to do anything. So let's, do, let's, let's use China as a straw man. Okay, China, let's assume that they have significant cyber capabilities and that they could get into our grids. Right now, the Chinese government does not have any incentive to turn the lights out. If the lights get turned out in New York and the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ plummet three, four percent, you want to know who's a loser? China, because they are equity holders. They are stakeholders uh, in our interconnected economy. Um, the biggest threat are the Russians. And the reason why the Russians are the biggest threat is because in a post-Ukraine, post-sanctions world, the Russians increasingly f do not feel like stakeholders um, in sort of the collective well-being of our markets. And so what I believe is that the Russian government pre uh, presents far and away the greatest threat to literally or proverbially turning the lights out. And um, when I say the Russian government, I mean both the units inside the Russian government with the capability as well as the Nashi and other sort of state affiliated national, sort of hyper nationalist hacker organizations aligned with Putin. Um, and this is where, you know, the brinksmanship really, this is where. Um, you know, it's, it's sort of like a middle school playground where you sort of testing each other. And what I believe is that the Russians haven't really tested us here. And I think part of why they haven't really tested us here is I think that they do believe that at least this administration would respond and respond fairly ferociously. And I think they believe that we would respond fairly ferociously because we've told them we would respond fairly ferociously. Um, and you know, I do think that, you know, what's interesting is I do believe that, that Obama has grown increasingly bellicose uh, in the cyber domain. He's a, he's a different president on this today than when I came into government in 2009. So even, I believe, turning the lights out on the internet in North Korea, uh, you know, I believe came from, uh, you know, it was coordinated between the United States and the Chinese government as a way of essentially sending a signal, sending a message to the North Koreans. Um, don't do that again, or we'll cut off your access to porn, um, <laughs> which is what I really believe it is. Um, so, you know, I do think that the biggest threat here comes from the Russians, and that they have not yet tested. They have not yet tested it, but I, I don't think it's. I don't think it would be easy uh, to do this. I think if it were easy, it would have been done because there are enough non-state actors out there who want nothing but mayhem for us. Uh, that they would have done it. Mm -hmm.